Hey guys, it's David here from phonebuff.com and in this video I'll be doing a quick review on the Color Note app available for free on the Google Play Store. So there are a whole bunch of features on this app so I'm not going to be able to go over all of them in depth but I'll try to do a quick overview. So first thing is you can take a note like you normally would on any other app. So I'll just go ahead and type in note, um, close out the keyboard really quick. You can change the color of the note and color code them if you want. Um, to whatever color you want, which I find useful if you're, you know, having notes for school or notes for work. Um, you can just color code them and that way they're easy to find later on. You can press menu and you have the option to discard the note. You can send it through whatever options that Android gives you. You could set a reminder, which is I find really cool. So say in 15 minutes, I wanted to remind myself of this note, hit done. Reminder is set in 15 minutes. This will open up and remind me of whatever I wanted to get reminded of. You could also set a lock password on a specific note, which prevents other people who might be using your phone be, from being able to uh, read your uh, note. So that's definitely great for security. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna hit back and uh, it automatically saves when hit back, back out of here. I wanna show you the checklist functionality. So this is just basically your to-do um, app. Let's say I need to get uh, food and then get a car wash. So get car wash and I hit OK. So, you know, this is your basic to-do list. You could also title it, so let's say to do, hit back and it saves. Again, of course, I have the same options to uh, change it and, um, you know, delete it and share them and whatnot as I did with the regular notes. I get back out of here. If I want to search through all my notes, I could just type in a keyword and it'll find it through my notes, which is great instead of having to search through each and every single one. Um, my favorite feature though on this app is the ability to add a widget to your home screen. So I'll go over to the widget and uh, you have two different sizes or you can do one by one or two by two. And uh, the today widget is for your calendar, which I'll go into in just a second. But I'm just gonna do a regular two by two color note uh, widget and I'll do the to-do list that I just made. And what's really cool is now you have a little, you know, almost post-it on your home screen and uh, you know you have your to-do list right over here. So you'll be able to see them you know, up to like six things. If you have more than that, you'll have to open it up. And once you do, you can check them off as soon as you get them done. So you just tap on it and it checks them off. So definitely uh, cool functionality. I really love this. I think it helps my productivity a lot when I have it on my home screen. Um, let's go back into the app and look at some of the other features. You could, like I said, have a calendar and kind of like the reminder we set for ourselves earlier, we could set uh, other reminders, we could add a reminder and uh, things like that. Hit back. You also have a recycle bin, so it has all your deleted apps, or notes, should I say. Um, you could delete them all at once if you want, but you know if you ever accidentally delete it, it stores them in here, which is pretty cool. You could also archive your notes. You could change the theme from uh, light to dark, like that. And uh, of course, your workspace is just your regular um, home screen and uh, you know, your regular, where all your notes show up. All right, that's pretty much it for this app review though. Definitely recommend it, can't beat the price, it's free. And uh, I really just love the functionality, especially th this widget. I mean, I haven't found an app out there that lets you do widgets like this. You know, I stack up four at a time sometimes and uh, it just really helps out. All right, that's it for me in this video. This is Dave from phonebuff.com. Thank you for watching it and don't forget to visit phonebuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.